I have come here today to the uh, home place of Billy Sunday in Winona, Winona Lake, Indiana. It's a beautiful, right across the way there is a Free Methodist Church. Just a beautiful campus here on Grace College and Seminary. And I wanted to read a couple verses on the blood because I want to tell you something, the blood of Jesus is America's only hope. It's not one hope among many. And if we have it okay, and if we don't, we'll figure something else out. No, the blood of Jesus is America's only hope. So I want to read this. Jesus himself said in Matthew 26, 28, he said, this is my, the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. In Romans chapter 3, verses 24 through 26, he said, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God has set forth to be a perpetuation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, His righteousness that He might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. And so we're out today just touring these old places. And my heart is and my prayer is for our nation that we will get back to the godly heritage of righteousness that built this country. These evangelists, Billy Sunday, uh, Charles Finney, these great American evangelists from a bygone age were on fire for Jesus. This country came to its knees in repentance before the Lord God. And we built this nation. And I firmly believe with all of my heart that Christians built this nation. And so we need to get back to that. Our nation can still be great again. There is still hope for America. There is still life left for America. But we have to repent and turn to Jesus Christ and plead, learn how to plead the blood once again. We're going to go on into the museum now, and I'll be back at you a little further on up this gospel trail. Bye-bye.